So I'm going to save this for last because, you know, the cornerback spot is, I'm not saying it's a light class this year, but I think um, there's a few really good guys this year that, you know, the Eagles could uh, target uh, in the draft. And, and you have a guy from LSU, cornerback Greedy Williams. Greedy Williams is just a ball hawk. That guy has everything you need, and he's got he's 6'1", 100, 185 pounds. This guy is just the guy. The guy, I, you, really. I mean, really. There's, there's, the, the guy has great hands. The guy, the guy has. Now, I know there's some corners out there that go for, that are like ball hawks in college that get interceptions like crazy, um, and then come to the NFL and then they can't catch the damn ball. This guy can catch almost everything. When I saw when we drafted Russell Douglas out of West Virginia, you know, two years ago, I he was first in the country with he was the number one corner in the country with interceptions. And then when he got to the NFL, he missed like four interceptions, but got at least three or four of them. He would have had he would have had probably like six interceptions, maybe seven for the year. Um, and he dropped a shit ton of them. So this guy could could uh, he has great uh, hand eye coordination, um, you know, mirroring the receiver going downfield. He's great on comfort for a big guy. I mean, watch his highlight tape. Watch what he could do because even on um, even when he look, I mean, I, it's very rare I see him get a little separation from the receiver. It's it's very rare that I see that, um, and, and we've seen him against the best. So I'm not seeing. At the NFL level, I think this guy can make a pretty big impact. I think it's only going to take him knowing a system, um, getting the terminology right when he hits camp to whatever NFL team he's on. And I think he's just going to rise up. I mean, I just see him trending upward. I don't see, you know, I'm not some special draft analytic person that, you know what I mean? I'm not like that, but I could see what I could see. I know a bad corner when I see a bad corner. I know a good corner when I see a good corner. Um... And this guy has a top ceiling. Uh, I, I could when I look at other corners in the, that are supposed to be drafted in the third, fourth round. I looked at other corners; and they just didn't look. They look like guys that are going to be on practice squad, or they're going to be like real depth guys. But if you want a prime starter and a guy that's got that swagger, could shit talk people, um, and this guy is is values his own craft. Uh, it, it's crazy. Um, he's played a little bit of inside. He's played mostly outside. He's an outside corner. But you want him on the outside, of course, especially if he's going to be drafted. If, he's in the, if you're the number one corner in the draft, you're playing outside, okay? Um, that's what we try to do for Sidney Jones. He's been hurt a lot. Craven LeBlanc, Avante Maddox, Russell Douglas. You don't know what you're really, you know, we're lucky we got two gems in Craven LeBlanc, Avante Maddox right now. So, um we just got to wait and see. I mean, this is probably defensive tackle and, and, and corner are probably my top two for the draft. And if, and if he's still on the board by 25, which he won't be, but if he's on the board, the Eagles got to pick him up. Okay. And if the Eagles have enough picks and they think that they, they think they could trust this guy and he is available to move up with a team that we can get some stuff done. Oh, I heard something. Never mind. Um, then I'll be fine with it. I'm fine with this. But, man, this guy is just... He's nuts. He's crazy. Guy has the best hands. I think he's the best... I mean, literally, it looks like the quarterback has thrown him the ball half the time. It's crazy. That's how... That's how... That's how into the receiver and how he mirror... Like, I'm going to say mirror because mirror is just the best way to put it. The guy, it literally... It's like you looking in a mirror and you're copying everything I do. And that guy could do that with the receiver. It's crazy. Um, I like him a lot. So, I know everybody was waiting for this video because I was like, um, I don't know, I'm going through some other guys, but I want to say the best for last. And, you know, Greedy Williams is one of the best guys. So, uh, you know, I got to give him props. Um, and, and we have some LSU players. We got Jalen Mills, LSU. The guy was a safety corner. You know what I mean? Sixth round. Look what he's doing now. Uh, you know what I mean? A little bit of rough patch up and down, up and down. But so far, he's been a, just an average corner right now. Um, but it's all about the pass rush. But if you can get just... The Eagles will build this defensive line this year, but if the Eagles end up getting this guy or getting someone of high caliber, and I think it's only going to be him, Byron Smith, and that's really it. That's going to jump on the field and do something. With that pass rush the Eagles have, that are going to build this year again because it's all about the pass rush. They're, that's Chris Long might be gone. Brandon Graham probably will be gone. 
So um, we need more guys. But Greedy Williams, hell of a fucking player. So that's all I got to say, guys. Nothing crazy, but uh, that's it. So let me know what you guys think about Greedy Williams from LSU. And uh, that's about it. So I will see you guys later. Shake squad up. Fly, fly.